In this video, we are going to learn about Indianness and why serialization is important. When representing an integer, your computer will use either Big Indian representation or Little Indian representation, depending on a combination of things like your processor and your operating system. What does this mean? In Big Indian, the most significant byte is the first byte. In Little Indian, the first byte is the least significant byte. Let's take a look at some examples. If we have an unsigned 2-byte integer in Big Indian representation, then the value for 1 would look something like this. We'll have our two blocks of memory for our two bytes, and the first byte will be a 0, and the second byte will be a 1. So let's take a look at this math. We have 0 for the most significant byte. So if we have 256 to the power of 1 for this uh, digit, we multiply that by 0. And then we are adding 256 to the power of 0 for the least significant digit multiplied by 1. We will get 256 times 0, which this just cancels out to 0. And then over here, we will get 1 times 1, because any number to the power of 0, except for 0, will give us 1. So we end up getting 1 times 1, which just equals 1, which checks out. Let's take a look at a couple more examples real quick. So let's say that we have the bytes 1 and 3, and we're still working in Big Indian. Well, if we want to figure out what integer this is, we could take 256 to the first power, multiplied by 1, and then we can add 256 to the power of 0, multiplied by 3, we go to simplify this, we get 256 times 1 plus 1 times 3. We get 256 plus 3, and the result is 259. Now we're going to take a look at one more example, but this time it will be for a 4-byte integer. So let's add in two more blocks for our memory, since this is four bytes, and it's still big Indian, so this is still the most significant byte is the first one, and the least significant is the last one. And we are going to have these bytes, 0, 1, uh, 5, and 184. I'm going to say I already know the result of this should be 67,000, so let's solve this and see what we get. Well, we would have 256 cubed multiplied by 0 for this first byte. We would have 256 squared multiplied by 1. We would have 256 to the power of 1 multiplied by 5. And then we would have 256 to the power of 0 multiplied by 184. So this cancels out to 0. This will come out to 65,536 multiplied by 1, which is just the same thing. This will come out to 256 multiplied by 5, which would be 1,280. And then this would come down to 1 times 184, which would just be 184. And then when you add all of these up, you get 67,000. So we've covered how to represent integers in big Indian format using the individual bytes. So let's see how it compares to little Indian. Now I'm not going to do any more calculations because we know how to solve it in big Indian and little Indian is just the reverse. So let's take a look at a couple of examples real quick. So in Big Indian, 
if we have two bytes, we have zero and one, then little indian, this would be represented as one, zero. These both have the value of one. What's important to note is that in big indian, the first byte is the most significant and the last byte is the least significant. And in little indian, the first byte is the least significant and the last byte is the most significant. We can just see this as little Indian is always big Indian flipped. Let's look at the four byte example that we did. And as you can see, our little Indian example is just the big Indian example, but with the bytes all reversed. This brings us to the issue of serialization. We want to make sure that when we send an integer or any value, that it is in a format that can be converted to represent the same value as when we sent it. Because of this, all integers are expected to be sent over the network in network byte order. Network byte order uses big Endian format. My processor is an Intel processor and I'm using Windows 10 64 bit. Because of this, my integers are represented in little Endian format. So for me to send integers over a network, I first have to convert them to big Indian and then send it over the network. And when I receive integers, they will be in big Indian format. So when I receive them, I'll have to convert them back to little Indian before I can use them. In the future, we may also have to do serialization for things like floats and doubles, but we will look at that at another time. That concludes everything we're going to cover in this video. And in the next video, we're going to cover the main differences between TCP and UDP.